Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly update show. It's only Tuesday, okay? It's only Tuesday. For me, it feels like uh, a whole week has come, has gone. Last night, and again, I have to apologize for my lack of enthusiasm uh, for the rest of this video. Last night, I, I just couldn't fall asleep, and then I wanted to fall asleep, I woke up. So make a long story short, I've been up since um, a quarter to five today. Usually I wake up around... 6.30, maybe 7 o'clock, probably closer to 7 o'clock. So rough, really, really rough. Uh, it's very, very hard to trade uh, when you're not focused. The good thing is I have an unbelievable coffee maker, and a lot of you guys have it as well. It's called an espresso machine. No, they're not paying me for this ad, but if you want to get jacked up all day, order an espresso machine, you'll be good to go. So let's talk about the market. Um, Q Q1 right? Q1, um, everything hit the fan, okay? We literally, everything hit the fan. COVID started this, this, this monster wave of just uncertainty and illness and death and the economic halt and the, the worst market of all time. Foreclosures are about to come. Student loans default. Everybody's unemployed. The world's going to hell in a handbasket. This is the end of the world, right? Down 20% for the quarter. And raise your hand, Okay, raise your hand if you thought that Q2 would completely erase every single loss uh, that the S&P 500 had for Q1. Just absolutely astounding. Uh, I forgot the gentleman's name who actually tweeted out that stat. Uh, it's on my Twitter feed, so if you go on, you'll see who tweeted that out. It's an amazing stat. The first time since 1932, I believe he said, that Q1, the Dow was down, excuse me, the S&P was down 20% only to make it back uh, Q2, just an ridiculous, just absolutely ridiculous. But again, you know, this is what 2020 is. It's the, you know, it's the land of the ridiculous. It's the expect the unexpected. It's, it's you know, down is up and up is down. And George, George Costanza uh, is the ruler of this market. Again, nothing needs to make sense anymore. And the one thing that we, you know, we kindly always talk about is you know the idea that the only thing that we can you know we can really trust are these charts. And you know last night again, if you even if you've been following this broadcast just for the last couple of weeks, again we just try to win the day's interval. That's it. We try to win the day. We're not trying to predict what happens. Obviously, we have an opinion what's going to happen next day. We have a game plan to what's going to happen next day. But until that plays out and gets confirmed, again, is just an opinion, it's just a game plan. Again, we're not trying to uh, guess the closing prices. So uh, yesterday, just to kind of rewind, uh, again, the Bears really dropped the ball. They confirmed the previous channel, right? They went lower, phenomenal flushes yesterday. They, you know, I don't think anybody could turn around and say there was a there's phenomenal flushes in anything you traded yesterday on all beta names, phenomenal job. Uh, by really, really aggressive rug pull, but then the Bulls did an equally better job in reclaiming, right, reclaiming this rising support. And I basically said in last night's video, if you believe, you know, again, if you believe in most basic technical analysis and trust their mirroring process, again, this close yesterday, right, looked like this close. Again, both reclaimed uh, rising support. So the bias was to the upside today, right? And, you know, we talked about the names, you know, the Teslas of the world, we'll get to that. And just to, to use the word unbelievable move is, is pretty much an understatement. But, you know, again, we talked about Tesla last night. You know, we talked about uh, the macro levels for weeks. That 1020 level kept on getting rejected for weeks, for weeks, for weeks. And the same thing that we started seeing uh, yesterday, right from a pre-aggressive run-up in shares of Tesla, which we started showing you yesterday, from that sneaky 990 area, okay, that confirmed and did the right thing and kind of reclaimed supply, you started seeing the same patterns. If you, if you kind of go through, uh, and forgive the phone ringing as I record, but if you kind of go through these videos, you know, week after week after week, the stocks that really aggressively break out start seeing very, very aggressive option flow. And we started seeing that option flow about a week and a half ago as Tesla was coming back 
from a pretty good run from that initial breakout uh, from that nine, I think it was that, that 835, that 835 initial breakout. So I had this really, really big run. Um, so it was set up, okay? It was set up today. Uh, a lot of names on the NASDAQ composite were kind of set up the same way. Again, we talked about a basic technical analysis. Inverted hammer is bearish. Hammer, right, is bullish. Uh, and we, we got the move today, right? We got the move today uh, in the indexes. Um, what was important about today's move was that the market actually opened up lower. And, and I, I turned around and I said, pre-market, I go, oh God, don't, don't, don't tell me we're gonna roll over, right? Now that we've actually reclaimed supply, you, you're, you're gonna explain to me like I'm two years old and try to convince me that we're gonna roll over? You know, so again, we let the market play out, okay? When you have a plan, I've been saying this uh, every single night, you have to let your thesis, you have to let your, um, your, your, your research from the night before tell you your role, right? Um, to kind of look at a different direction. And, you know, today we were definitely uh, buy bias. Okay, you'll, you know, you'll quickly see uh, just off the pivots today, uh, Tesla obviously was the, was the moonshot of all moonshots. Um, Facebook had a great debt, debt cat bounce. Uh, even Beyond had a great debt cat bounce. Um, NVIDIA went absolutely berserk today uh, off of the Micron, uh, really good earnings. Ironically, Micron actually failed today at the top of the channel. We'll show you that in a second. Uh, but ultimately, the Bulls did uh, a tremendous job, just a really tremendous job, not only uh, today, not only yesterday defending uh, the range, but they defended the range here and here and here and here. And this is all through Corona, Corona, Corona. Uh, economic damages, 45, 50 million people unemployed, just an, an unbelievable job uh, for the bull nation, okay? And again, nobody knows uh, what the next quarter is going to bring. Uh, you can guess, you can have a theory, uh, you can say whatever you want. Again, our opinions don't matter. I'm an idiot, okay? D again, I'm an idiot. The reason why um, I'm, I'm very simplistic in my approach, because I know I'm not smarter than anything, okay? This, this table has a much, much more common sense than I do. So I need data points, right? I need to collect as much data as possible to tell me I'm in the right direction, whether it's long, short, or indifferent, but it's very, very important that I let the market play out. So the idea that anything can happen, okay, uh, the third quarter of the year is on the table, right? Can we go to all-time highs, hell, it looks like we're gonna to go to all-time highs tomorrow, right? Can we turn around and completely start breaking down, go lower? Yes, 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 on everything. Everything is on the table. Everything is on the table in the George Costanza, nothing makes sense market. But again, as we've been saying for a long, long time, it doesn't need to make sense, okay? I'm wrong, you're wrong, I'm dumb, you're dumb. They're the, the smartest people in the world are the ones that are sitting on the sidelines trying to make excuses why they missed this 20% you know, this, this run-up. Again, it's much easier, and I said this for, for a long time, for a lot of these funds, much easier to raise money than to manage it properly. It's just the, the reality uh, of the business. So if you look at uh, going into tomorrow's session, again, uh, this candle engulfed one, two, three days in a row, uh, closed over the supply, and again, now we are, uh, again, stone throws away of, well, setting all-time highs. Again, testing this inverted hammer, uh, this 251 level from uh, last week. So kudos to the Bulls. Uh, job well done uh, for the second quarter. Let's see you do it again, right? Let's see you do it again. Again, long, short, and different. As long as we're patient, we have an opinion, um, we, we don't deviate from our process, we don't prostitute our money, we're going to be okay. So let's talk about the market today. Um, just absolutely, just huge moves. I mean, really, really huge moves today. Obviously, uh, my trade of the day, everybody's trade of the day probably was Tesla, right? If you if you were probably on the feed, I, and I know NVIDIA did very, very well, and I know a lot of these names uh, did incredibly well, but I think everybody's attention was on Tesla. Uh, this morning, I forgot who it was who upgraded them. It wasn't a big upgrade. The upgrade was to like a nine, who, I don't even remember who it was. Was it Oppenheim? I don't even remember who it was. So somebody upgraded um, Tesla today. And if you remember yesterday, right? If you remember yesterday, there was a sneaky pivot right here, right? 990 needs to build. Okay, that was a big, big level. And the reason why 990 was a big level, it kind of got it out of this middle wedge that it kept on hitting like week after week after week in the last couple of weeks and just kept on getting rejected. So any close yesterday above 990, right, was gonna really start setting the thing off. And 
and I have to say this much. I, I, I really have to say this much. Elon Musk and the folks on Tesla, okay, they are the leaders, hands down leaders of the most leaked emails in the, in, in the history of the world, right? Most, most leaked emails, they, they lead the league, as we say. They lead the league in most emails. So whatever the hell it was that sparked this stock, uh, 1020, again, still mac huge. I mean, there was nothing left to say. Still macro, huge area. And we started seeing, you know, the, the market opened up, Tesla opened up around 1007, 1008. And this is kind of my point. What you're looking at here is uh, Flow Algo. It's um, the option scanner that I use. So we started seeing really, really early aggressive option call flow coming in very, very fast. Okay. So right off the open, okay, literally right off the open. First of all, yesterday, somebody bought the 15, the July 1500 calls. So I thought right away, you know what? There's something brewing, right? Again, it's, it's the prelude to the kiss. And this morning you started seeing, you know, somebody comes out and buys the 1025, uh, 1025 weeklies expiring on Thursday. We knew that was going to be the big level. And then you started seeing really aggressive call buying. I mean, one after another, after another, you started seeing the 1050s, the 1120s for next week, the 1150 weeklies, right? The 1080s, the 1100s, the 1150s, the 1170s. They were coming for the 1220s. And I, and I laughed at this person. I said, dude, how much more do you want? The stock at this point was up 80, 90 points. I'm like, you want, you tell me you want another 140 points out of this thing in the next, in the next 36 hours. So as I was laughing at this guy with the 1220 comes another guy right after him for next week's 15, 20 calls. Just, just ridiculous. Just <laughs> Absolute ridiculous, and again, Tesla just went just went nuts, um, just went nuts. We got long. Um, I got long on the, on the little little before the 1020 because I, I saw that aggressive volume come in. Uh, here is the 1020, right? Here is the 1020 that we've been talking about for for weeks, uh, ever since uh, June the 11th. So we're talking about three weeks, right? Three weeks of consolidation, and it just went nuts. I mean, just absolutely nuts. Um, I thought it was going to get to 1060. That was like my, you know, I said, yeah, look, 1058, 1060, I think it gets there, okay? I didn't think in my wildest dreams. And the reason why, and the, why, and the reason why I said 10, 1058, 1060, that was the linear regression line going into supply. There, there's no way on God's green earth that you think it was going to slice through supply like it wasn't there and trade literally to all, literally to all time highs. I think if you look at the weekly chart, Right. If you look at the weekly chart on Tesla, right, the weekly chart on Tesla, yeah, just completely obliterated uh, every little thing uh, based on the call buyers for you know for the weekly charts for the guys the guys are coming in 1100, 1120, 1150, 1220s. Uh, any dip tomorrow, any dip tomorrow into the rising uh, 60 minute support, you you need to buy this thing. There's no other way around it. You need to buy this thing, uh, even if it has a res day tomorrow. If, if you, that 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 dip buy on 60 minute support after a monster breakout is high probability. So. Tesla, right? Tesla, uh, Tesla monster, uh, Facebook, you know, really good, solid, uh, snapback session, uh, 20. And again, I didn't, I only traded today. Uh, I traded today, uh, Facebook and I got long this, uh, NET. We'll talk about NET in a second, uh, which I'm still long overnight. I, I just, I'm a little intrigued by it. Um, Facebook, uh, 20, 80, 21 needs to build, uh, Facebook, you know, went nuts actually had a really, really big move. So, uh, here's the 2080, right? Here's the 2080. Completely went through it. Just had a really big move here uh, to 227. If you did trade Facebook today, uh, congratulations. Uh, FSLY never got down to 76. Uh, INSG complete dud. Uh, 1180, 12 needs to build. I think it only went to like 12 and change, right? It went to like 12, 10, and it just completely died on a vine. So nothing there. Uh, MU, which is so ironic, is MU is the reason why Nvidia sparked. We'll talk about that in a second. It failed. It, it, it kept on getting rejected at 50, uh, 5240s. Um, it got rejected at literally three times before it sold off uh, a couple of bucks. Uh, and again, ironically, because of MU, which stalled out, Nvidia actually had a monster day. Uh, 373 needs to build. On Nvidia, here was uh, Nvidia, right? So here's a 373, just absolutely went nuts. You know, went nuts. Put up a seven, eight dollar candle uh, in the first 15 minutes or so. Big, big move. 
Facebook take on the way up, take on the way up, uh, even beyond, uh, even beyond actually had a trade. Uh, 134.50, 134.75 uh, needs to build for, you know, quickly for a dead cat bounce. Uh, here is BYMD, right? So here is BYMD right over here, right here. Here's the here's the 134.50, 134.75 area. Actually had a nice, decent pop to 36.60s, and then again, just died on a vine uh, as well. But again, you know, dead cat means dead cat. Dead cat doesn't mean breakout. Dead cat doesn't mean confirming channel. Dead cat means uh, oversold challenge bounce. So uh, so this was a very interesting play, and uh, I haven't been uh, I haven't been really taking. Uh, a lot of inventory, uh, but I took this one overnight. Um, 3590, 36 needs to build. We started seeing really aggressive call buying for the next couple of weeks, right? I mean, they were just going one after another, after another, after another, after another. They were literally coming uh, for the 40s. Um, I'm long at 34, uh, 30, excuse me, 35, 3594 average. At the end of the day, I'm literally up a penny. Right, I'm up a penny on the close. Not bad for five hours work. So I'm kind of intrigued. I'm going to use uh, today's low as my stop. So I'm basically risking about a buck uh, in the trade. Uh, technically, it actually needs to. It needs a little bit better prices. Uh, technically, it really needs to start getting above that 37 to really go. But again, this was at least the first good step uh, that it reclaimed uh, the five-day moving average. So again, we'll see what happens. I'll, you know, I'll risk a buck in the trade. Um, so net, I'm still in there. Uh, again, what are you going to say? Best stock ever. Uh, NVIDIA, a monster move today. Uh, good job by Brett. And again, I'm not, we were laughing, but 11.50 call buyers just going nuts. Tesla, yeah, this is my point. I go last supply, 10.58, 10.60. They're going pretty aggressive there as well. Uh, and then I, just, I started joking around. I go, well, you know, today was interesting. And again, I, and I say that joking around because, again, you can't predict aggression you can predict bias right you can predict bias you can have an opinion of what's going to happen uh in the indexes you can have all that stuff okay nobody in their right mind could turn around and say well you know what you know today's the day that uh tusk is going to break out not only is going to break out today uh they're going to be buying 200 dollars out of the money calls with you know two days left in expiration and oh by the way it's gonna have this master move but again uh, I know a lot of you guys did very very well obviously today was, my, today was definitely my, the trade of the day for me as well on Tesla and I think going into tomorrow um, you know I, I'm bullish you know I, I'm definitely bullish uh, on the queues again uh, I think the Bears did a terrible job yesterday not only uh, not you know really finishing the, the you know the bulls off after this magic uh, run, but you know they let the bulls uh, really reclaim um, daily supply, daily support, and that was a big, big kind of green light uh, for the bulls. And obviously, uh, two hundred uh, two hundred point uh, gap, uh, two hundred point run up today on the Dow. Uh, more important, two hundred point uh, gap up today in the Nasdaq Composite, and that's kind of where we uh, make our home. So, guys, have a great night, everybody. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have runners on Tesla uh, overnight. Uh, we'll see. You know, we'll see if those 1150, 1200 guys uh, get paid. Right, guys? Have a great night, everybody. Enjoy yourself. Uh, for all you guys who are, um, for all you guys, because I usually answer my emails very, very quickly. I'm going to try to go to sleep tonight uh, around 9 o'clock. I just had no sleep. So if you are emailing me today after 9 o'clock, uh, I'm going to, I need rest. You know, I need rest. I was, I woke up way too early today. Unfortunately, just didn't, didn't get any good night's sleep so I could be fresh. Uh, for tomorrow. So guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. I love you all. And I'll see you on the field tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.